Good morning, welcome to Blue Dickers Detects. Uh, there's just Chris and I today. Um, Louise isn't feeling 100% but she will be out with us very soon. Um, we're down to our last field on this farm. The farmer is presently ploughing the um, stubble that we were last on. So that's that one out of the way. This one is where I found the gold coin so I don't mind coming on here again. To my left there's a well. Uh, Chris is on some banking and I'm just going to hang around here and just take it easy and see if we've missed anything in the past. Um, so yeah, we'll catch you on the first mine. This is my first find to report. Uh, piece of lead. I don't think any markings on it. Yep, so that's the first decent find. Um, there's some deep iron in here because it's been a forge stroke blacksmith's place. There's a lot of deep iron. Can you believe it? Just found another one. <coughs> See if this has got anything on it. Here, the woodpecker. Uh, just to prove that I've got two, I'll get the other one. There we go. No idea what they are. There we go in the distance. There, that's just being done now. So we've lost that. The banking that you're looking at, you can just so see Chris here popping over the top. He's on there, and then I'm going to be on this one for now but as I say it's, um, it used to be a blacksmith stroke forge so lots of deep iron on here but gold coin <laughs> so hopefully fingers crossed we get another this one was a massive 38 on the mine lab equinox 800 I think oh I was going to say I think it's Part of a toy but looking at it now it's perhaps not oh dear me no I'll have to pass on that one this one was a 32 as well I think not very deep it's a draw knob or something there's something in the hole. I'll try and get you down. See, that's an imprint, and there's something fallen off it. The imprint first. Ooh, this looks different. Oh, it's got a hole in it, so it's been hung. I'll give it a quick squirt. So I still can't work out what it is, but I will try and have a look when I get home. I mean, it's not precious metal or anything, but it looks interesting. There we go, clog clasp every time we come out. They're about as common as the musket balls here up north. We've stopped for a bite to eat and a drink and I've caught up with Chris. Um, we think this is part of a thimble, very crushed thimble. And he's had a piece of silver, Queen Victoria. We can't work out whether it's 18, 48 or 1849 so that's the first piece of silver for today and hoping for more finish lunch now and 
back out on it and my first find after lunch has been another cod glass. Just three rams on this big field and they're not doing a very good job of eating all the stuff, it's getting a bit long. <laughs> uh, yeah, one adult and two young ones. The good old cars of Carlisle. Some CC on that side. Anybody that watches this knows I find a lot of these, although this is the first one today, so. Um, we've got to go and pick the grandchildren up with Louise not being well, so this could be my last find. So you've seen most of the good stuff that I've found as I've found it. This is the stuff I haven't bothered to show you. Half a horseshoe, bits and pieces, you've seen the clog class. This one I think is the end of a pen knife. There's a teaspoon end, clog clasp you saw that. Uh, a couple of buttons. This I think is off one of those little gunpowder gun powered guns um, called Pet Trinelle, something like that, I can never remember the name. Uh, yeah, lots of foil, big lump of lead, the door handle you've seen, more lead, those two you've seen, those three you've seen, and I have one more item that I haven't showed you yet, I'll get that out of my bag. Chris has just appeared back um, to tidy up and go, and he's had a couple of spoon handles as well. He's had the pewter one, and then they're just that one's got some sort of markings on but it's not silver okay this is something else I found I, I when I found it it was in bits in the hole and I have tried to jigsaw it together but Chris and I can't I mean yeah I think perhaps there was more than one because these don't seem don't make seem to make sense no idea what it is Okay, that's it. We're done for the day. Um, keep watching. I'm going to put an unearth dig at the behind this one. So uh, going to an unearth dig on Sunday, and you'll see that follow on from here. But until then, thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, and we'll see you on the unearth dig. Bye for now. here on the unearthed dig and this is my first decent signal to show. I've only dug three, a piece of iron and a piece of tin. That's a nice button that one. First find for the day. I'll clean it up later and work out what it is. I'm um, undecided about this one. I'm wondering if that's Roman you know. It feels right. I'll show it to Graham, see what he says. Chris has just had a nice sixpence, a 1917 George V. I think, uh, George V, yeah, uh, sixpence. Well, the other coin I found that I think might be a Roman, um, I haven't had it confirmed yet, but this one most definitely is. That's the better side. I'm not going to clean it up too much on the field, but he is definitely of the Roman variety. Quick catch up with Chris on the unearthed dig. Um, this looks silver, but it also looks like it could be a button unless that's just a crusty bit. We will give it a silver test and I will write below whether it passed or failed. Continuing with Chris's finds, there's a Edward 1906 penny. 
to 1900 uh, Queen Victoria veil head and this one we're not 100% sure but we think this is a George the third be a half penny that size and whilst I've got you here Graham has confirmed that my tatty looking coin is actually a Roman as well so it's two Romans for me today and this is the last one for now for Chris it is a very pretty button with like a flower on it and it still has a really good shank on it more to come another coin for me but not in very good condition I'll give it a clean try and get something from it right that's it we're done a um, couple of Romans um, a silver sixpence Chris found and another piece of silver we need to test when we get back but I'll let you know about that watch the unearth um, UK videos the, there'll be a lot more on there to see I only ever film Chris and I so um, it's time to go and Thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and we'll see you on the next. Bye for now.